So just relax. It's like a conversation. Okay. I think you'll be too relaxed, honestly. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, when the, the thing press starts, I, I kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> don't have to sit up so like... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I have to have good posture. Are we teaching these people how to be more posturally aware? How, how did you feel those last two seasons? I mean, because you played and you played well. Mm -hmm. How did you feel? Were you feeling really strong? You know, because you had two ACLs, mm -hmm. goalkeeper's uh, thumb, so mm -hmm. you had to get that surgically reconstructed, mm -hmm. and you had your Achilles rupture, mm -hmm. so you had to get that surgically repaired. So, considering all of those injuries, I mean, you know, coming back from just one of those injuries is tough, mm -hmm. but you came back from all of them, and you were able to play two seasons and start and play at a high level. Mm -hmm. So how did you feel in those last two seasons? You know, the first season that I came back from my Achilles, um, I was actually told that there's a high probability that mm -hmm. I would tear it again. Mm -hmm. So I remember there was one day where I had a breakdown. I'm like, man, like, uh, I, I'm just going to go up there. I'm just going to injure it again. And then I'm going to fly back home and repair it again. So what's the point of me going? Mm -hmm. But I think you kind of, we had a conversation and you kind of, you know, encouraged me like, no, you, you can do this. You, mm -hmm. You're going to make it. Um, and I made it. Mm -hmm. uh, I. But I'm not gonna lie. In the back of my mind, I was worried about you mm -hmm. know what if I tear this? What if it becomes mm -hmm. so tight? You know what if I rip something else or cause some other imbalance? Um, that was always in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. The second season, though, I felt stronger mm -hmm. um, because I only went to play for the fall, and I would come. I came back. So mm -hmm. then, when I came back during spring and summer, I was training here. Yes. So I definitely felt like I gained um, more strength and mm -hmm. uh, functional stability. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, then so i felt more prepared going into my senior season mm -hmm. i can't begin to describe what this place has done for me mm -hmm. um, not only as, as for my athletic career um, not only professionally because i'm pursuing pt but just me personally like personal growth mm -hmm. me growing as a person yes. um, i think i i've definitely learned a lot of invaluable lessons mm -hmm. from uh, everyone that i've come across mm -hmm. Um, I've definitely been sharpened and refined mm -hmm. um, by everyone here because everyone uh, has different strengths and weaknesses mm -hmm. and I, I had an opportunity to work with everyone Yes. and I'm very grateful for that. Um, you know, it's some place that I always want to come back to immediately when I come home. Mm -hmm. There's d there's definitely three places I come. It's obviously the beach, <laughs> you can't tell, um, definitely here, and UH. I mean, those are the three, like, places that I have to come back to mm -hmm. every single time mm -hmm. um, because it changed my life yeah. and it uh, the experience for me has been so impactful um, like I said earlier I can't imagine what my life would look like had I not been introduced to this place mm -hmm. um, and in that sense looking in hindsight I don't regret going through all my injuries in the mm -hmm. midst of it it was really hard mm -hmm. um, I wish it didn't happen to me mm. and I don't wish it upon anyone yeah. but had I not gone through all those things mm. I wouldn't have been here no. I wouldn't have met the people that I got to work with mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been a volunteer I wouldn't have mm -hmm. worked here so if I didn't get injured I wouldn't have met you or, or anyone mm -hmm. and that would be really unfortunate and that's a good point because I mean that's kind of the philosophy at pro and that's my mm -hmm. personal philosophy too is that you know all of these things they really do happen for a reason mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know most people think like when you get injured okay i just gotta do the physical work and i gotta come back physically stronger mm -hmm. but people don't see especially for an athlete they don't see all of the other areas that it's that it affects oh, yeah. so you know mentally emotionally socially you can't play volleyball for a while you know yeah. all of these other things i think that's where we've seen you make the growth too and for a lot of people that do get injured you know, just to realize that there's more than just physical growth after the injury. Right. It teaches you a lot of life lessons that I right. think will make you a really, really great PT because you've been through all of these experiences. And, you know, everyone's experiences are different. But I think for you, the combination of experiences that you had to overcome, mm -hmm. that really makes you, you know, it makes it very valuable going into PT school and now actually pursuing the profession that you want to do to give back and help these mm -hmm. people that get injured in the future. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Check out my social media. Check out more YouTube videos that I have in my channel. Hit the subscribe button or like and comment below. Share these videos with family and friends and I'll see you next time.